Hello friends, welcome back to Cosmopolitan Cornbread. So I have been working really hard this week so far on the kitchen. I have already painted all of the upper cabinets. I have attached the jadeite handles. The kitchen is looking so much brighter just with those white cabinets reflecting the light. There's still a lot more to do, but we are making progress. So after I got those cabinets painted, I started working on the countertops. I sanded them down to get all of the marks off of them. And then I got the first coat of the polycrylic on there. You can already see a huge difference. The color in the wood just absolutely pops. After it was dry, I lightly sanded it. I wiped it down with a damp rag, let it dry off, and put another coat, and repeat. Next, it was time to make some cornbread. I had some leftover soup in the freezer that I had frozen in portions, and I decided to make some of my jalapeno cheddar cornbread to go with it. This is not a recipe that I have on my website yet, but I will be adding it soon, possibly even the day this video goes up. I had a bunch of people comment in my last video, or on my last video, in regards to the green door that I had painted. A bunch of you absolutely loved the green color, and to be honest, I did like the green color too, but here's where the problem was. I do a lot of photography in my kitchen because I am a food blogger, and to do that photography, I need good, clean light, and having that much green in the kitchen, especially up higher in the kitchen, caused it to reflect green light all throughout, which would throw off the hue of the photography that I was doing there in the kitchen. And so that just was not going to work. And it didn't really show up quite as much in the evening when I was filming that video, but during the day where there's a lot of sunlight and it really reflects the light all around the room, it was just too much. I didn't want to have to do a bunch of color correction in my photography. So as you can see, I have the cornbread batter mixed up and now I'm adding in all of the extras. Some diced onion. A minced jalapeno. Some frozen whole kernel corn. and some shredded sharp cheddar cheese. Buttering up my skillet very well so that nothing sticks. When the cornbread went into the oven, it was time to clean up and little Miss Willow had just arrived and she was a wonderful help. So I do have a few different cornbread recipes on my website. I have the classic skillet cornbread that is just that staple cornbread. I have a couple of cornbread dishes like bacon cheeseburger skillet cornbread or sausage cornbread bake. But along with this recipe, I have a couple of others I'll be adding to the website in a couple of weeks.
After the cornbread was done, it was time to do the evening chores. First up, treats for the cats. You know they have food available to them all day long, but they always act like they are absolutely starving when they get their treats. The chickens have been spending a lot of time up under one of the sheds today because it's been incredibly windy and cold. It started off with rain, then it turned to snow, and then it was just windy all day long. So we have a couple of chickens who don't sleep in the chicken coop like all the others. They have a tree that they like to perch in and every evening they will jump up into that tree and then branch by branch climb all the way up, way up into that tree. And they've been doing this for months now. We thought when the weather turned cold that they would decide to sleep in the coop to stay warm. That wasn't the case. They insist on sleeping in this tree. It's two of our whitings, a white one and a black one. The cornbread is cooled and look at the beautiful little specks of color in there. Absolutely delicious. I could eat this by itself for dinner. At the end of the day, I decided to put one more coat of the polycrylic on the countertops because of course they will be getting lots and lots of use. Now in the past when I've used this I've only ever put two coats on but for some reason it just didn't seem like it coated as well as it used to so instead of two coats I did four. Better to go a little extra and have it last than not put enough on and have it not do the job right. And before I wrap this up, I just wanted to share some good news with you guys. I had mentioned in my last video how I had reached out to an artist about having some pottery mugs made once again with my logo. And I have heard back from the artist 
and it looks like this is going to work out great and so we're working out the details and I will share more about them with you in the future when it comes closer to that time. But there will be some Cosmopolitan Cornbread mugs coming in the spring. So that is it for today, you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I will talk to you all next time.